Now we want to bring you our top story this morning. Richmond Fed President Jeffrey Lacker spoke exclusively with my colleague Trish Regan, anchor on Street Smart, earlier today. She joins us now live from Washington with more on what he had to say. Trish. Hi, Margaret. Well, literally, he just left the room here. Uh, we spoke for about 20 minutes, and the headline here is that President Lacker would like to see interest rates move up by mid next year, so mid 2013, if the data continues looking uh, as good as it has been. He says it doesn't need to be stellar. Two to three percent growth is right with him. Uh, take a listen to what he had to say, Margaret. I don't think further stimulus is, is really warranted right now. I, I'm expecting growth between 2 and 3 percent. I think the data have been firmer in tone of late. Um, and besides, I don't think there's um, a good chance of us having much of an effect on growth with further monetary stimulus without increasing in inflation. And inflation's around 2 percent right now, and that's our main job. He said we don't need any more quantitative easing. We don't need QE3. And he is doubtful as to how successful the first two rounds of quantitative easing uh, actually were. We spoke a little bit about housing. I did say to him, but President Lacker, if we're in a situation where the housing market is still struggling as it has been, and you want to raise rates, if we're looking at higher interest rates and thus eventually higher mortgage rates, what is that going to do to a very shaky housing industry. He said, you know what? You can't be overly focused on housing. We can't look at that and exclude everything else that's going on in the economy. Take a quick listen to this one, Margaret. This recession has been caused by an overbuilding in housing and a pullback in residential construction spending. It all falls out from there. And it's not uh, clear we're going to get much contribution from housing construction in this recovery. We haven't gotten any so far, and it's not clear we're going to get any for, for a couple of years. You know, he does remain concerned about inflation. He said this is one of the reasons why we, not, we do not need to embark on more quantitative easing. It's one of the reasons why we really need to look seriously at raising rates before 2014. We need to look at raising rates in 2013. So inflation very much on the horizon. He's concerned still about Europe. That's a wild card. Oil prices, of course, another wild card, Margaret. Uh, and I did say to him, him, you know, President Lacker, do you ever feel like you're the lone wolf out there? You're the only one who's sort of been championing this economy, saying that things are okay. Suddenly, people have, his colleagues have started to come around to that way of thinking. Uh, but, you know, he, he said, in fact, it's very much a spirited, intellectual discussion. Uh, it's all good. He never feels too lonely out there, even if he is the only one. Um, but that more and more people are starting to feel like things are getting more positive. The jobless rate continues to improve and that the economic data is showing we are on stable ground, which would lead them to believe that mid-2013 could be the time to raise rates.